Hey yeah, matey, this is Heavy Storm Shadow Prologue, and this is the demo version which I'll link to in the description down below for those who are interested. And I saw this on Steam, saw it was a little bit interesting, is a Vapor Survivors like clone, and I've played a lot of those on this channel, so I might as well try this one. But I, in the description, I'd never seen this before, it, it described itself as God's Perspective Roguelike Shooter. <laughs> So, I mean, that, that that's interesting. And also, this game, this demo started out in Chinese. So, uh, what I did was, I went to the third option here, which is the settings. And then, in the sixth, the sixth bar down, it is the language. Or language. I, I can speak, I can speak. And it was originally in Chinese, and so all you need to do is go left once, and it will say English. And then you'll hit return, which is this right one. And then the quit button is the fourth one down. Not the last one. The last one is at the wishlist. But the fourth one down, quit, restart the game, and it'll be in English. So, yeah, let's just start see how this goes. It looks really flashy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the trial version of Heavy Storm Shadow. In this version, we have released the offensive mecha Thunderstriker of the beautiful white-haired girl Sith. And at the same time, we have opened the talent and favor system to strengthen the mecha. Other character mechas with different styles, map features, and more build systems are undergoing final optimization and will be fully released in the official version soon. I, I don't know how much it's going to be, but if you like this game, please click the button below to add Heavy Storm Shadow to your wishlist. If you have any comments or anything yet, all right, there's a QR code, I guess. Let's just play. All right, artwork seems pretty nice. So we got this that we can't play the layout reminds me of girls frontline for some reason i don't know why but anyways we only have one mecha that we can play which is fine it is the demo so and we also have one location that we can play as well although th this is still in chinese <laughs> so it's not fully translated i don't know the controls I'm sure it's, you know, there's the controls. So move, fire, auto fire. We got skill and we got dodge. All right. Oh, there's a reload system as well. That's, that might bite me in the butt. <laughs> I mean, we do have dodge, we also have a skill. What's our skill? Oh, nice. I mean, there's like little pellets here, which I assume's experience. Yeah, yeah it is. I don't know what kind of skills they have. So, we got Barge. While in boost mode, ram into enemies in your path and deal 180 to 120 damage. Evening storm, each dodge leave behind a magnetic field making the enemies in the area electrocuted. Okay, we got Orbital Strike. Automatically call Orbital Strike one time every three seconds. Uh, randomly. And then we got a negative ray. The mecha shoots a negative ray four during boost mode. Okay, then double barrel, primary weapon trajectory plus one, primary weapon damage, minus 20%. Let's do overall strike. This seems like the most beneficial one. Because, like, the ramming seems fun, but this, I, you take, I feel like you take damage when you touch them, so... When I'm ramming them, I'm gonna take damage, so it's like, is it worth it? <laughs> Do I take damage when I run? No, it, it doesn't seem like it. So I may, maybe I'm wrong with that part. They, they, they do take like a, a second to charge up their attack. So it releases two shockwaves every two seconds. Let's see, attach a shotgun to your primary weapon. Each round of shotgun deals 30, 40 damage to enemies. Watch second cool down. Let's get a shotgun. Seems fun. Skill. Look at all that experience. Oh, I'm at half health though. <laughs> Let's see. Hardened ammo, primary weapon damage, plus 30%. Smart shot. The primary weapon will launch one smart shot every four rounds. The smart shots change directions two times in flight. It reads the set of vibrant cutters whenever you empty a magazine, they fly at low speed and damage enemies. Okay, that seems good. And I am reloading a lot. Yeah, that, that seems good. Alright, so that's the dodge. Hmm. 
All right, double barrel. Laser drone, evading storm. So let's see. Laser drone. Laser drone seems good. Oh jeez. Is there a way to heal? I would like a way to heal, please. I'm at 30 health. Alright, let's get hardened ab harden up more more damage. Sure. More damage seems good. So I think in the full version there's more than one type of enemy. I, I would like a way to heal though. Even though, it, even if it's not much, I still would like a way to heal. <laughs> Alright, I got a death ray. Burning ammo. Seems nice. Narrow the spread of the shotgun. Number of projectiles shot each time plus three. Ooh. Can I choose? Oh no, we can't choose one. I mean, we're just screwing up all these experiences. It's no big deal. Well, while it being at 30 health. There's a shockwave smart shot charge shot. Laser generator on the magazine that or molecular blade deploying two molecular base dealing that seems good. So the molecular blade is like the Bible in Vampire Survivors, except it's the the radius is much larger. <laughs> Pick up all these. Oh, look at all this experience. Don't wear a magnetic storm. Alloy plate seems good. I will take that. Less damage taking, even though I'm at 30. <laughs> seems fine. My power particle. The mecha keeps tagging nearby enemies during boost, so. Two Galleon drones are deployed to fight a long mecha. They fire bullets at high speed. Hmm. Let's do that. Alright. I think we're managing now. Kind of. I don't like going to heal. I said this before, but I don't know if that's a thing in this game. <laughs> Some of these, there is no healing until like end of the round type stuff. Which one? Oh, there's a little magnet as well. Oh, I'm at 22. Beacon magnetic storm tearing blade. Number of molecular blades each orbit plus one. Molecular blades make enemies vulnerable. Walking fortress, more HP. Let's, uh, each bullet penetrates one. I think I'll take the piercing ammo. I do think the piercing might work. All things considered. Like AoE and piercing. Yeah, can we get near the capture point? Oh, 14 health. Kill field. Airdrop deployed. Expiring in 14 seconds. Where? Oh, I'm at 6. Oh, there it is. What did that do? Ooh, oh, there's a rock. Oh, invincibility! <laughs> right as it. Okay. So we survived for uh, n not even five minutes. Kill count was 1355, max level 11. Sure. And these are all of our upgrades. Okay. 
I guess that's it. <laughs> so see if we can level up to get different starting weapons as well. Seems interesting. There's also the upgrades here. You can improve aim, crit chance, defense system. This regenerates health. So I guess this is the only way you can gain health. Because I, I don't think I see a pickup in the game. We got auxiliary systems. Increased auto run revenue by 10%. Okay. So yeah, this is the prologue for Heavy Storm Shadow. Obviously, I didn't get far, but... It, it seems promising, like, but like I said, I don't know how much it's going to be, because if it's too expensive, then obviously it won't be worth it. If it's more on the cheaper side, then maybe. I, I would say maybe under 5 <laughs> But I, I, I don't know pricing myself, so I just tend to get whatever it's on sale and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll link to the prologue in the description down below for those that are interested. Uh, I kind of wish I could. I would be able to try these. I don't know if we're going to add more afterwards or just going to stick with these four. Like, the designs are fine. I have no problem with the designs, both the characters and the mechs. They seem pretty cool. But like I said, it reminds me of Girls Front Life for some reason. But yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.